Well, today we are joined by Glenn Scarpelli. He's the host of Traveler TV. He's been joining us here on The Morning Blend, taking us all over the Southwest, visiting those most extraordinary spots that really put the Western United States on the map. Back today, Glenn, how are you? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be back, JJ, this time in particular, because we are taking you to Grand Canyon National Park. And specifically, we're going to be talking to the folks from the Grand Canyon Conservancy, who we really all have to like just bow down and thank for maintaining the Grand Canyon and the park the way they do. Check this out. Today on Traveler TV, we're taking you to one of the seven wonders of the world, Grand Canyon National Park. Wow. Hi, Glenn Scarpelli here, and all I could say is wow. I mean, really, wow. But before I say anything else, I'd like to welcome the Director of Marketing and Communications for the Grand Canyon Conservancy, my friend, Mindy Riesenberg. Hi, Glenn. Welcome to Grand Canyon. Thank you, Mindy. And how many people come up here and say wow? <laughs> Well, you're probably not the first and you're definitely not the last. <laughs> right? <laughs> but you know, now that we're here, I truly feel the magic. And the Grand Canyon is a place where our visitors and all visitors could connect to the outdoors. Whether it's a hiking trail, taking a stroll on the rim, or enjoying the landscape from an overlook, nothing compares to the Grand Canyon. And experiencing the canyon with the naked eye really emphasizes to me how important it is to preserve it. Yeah, and federal funding only goes so far to protect the needs of the park. And that's where Grand Canyon Conservancy comes in. The official philanthropic partner of the park, the Conservancy raises funds to preserve and protect the park, so it stays accessible to all of us for years to come. So Mindy, share with us how we can connect with the Grand Canyon Conservancy. Well, first of all, Glenn, come visit. And make sure you stop into one of Grand Canyon Conservancy's retail shops. By shopping in our stores, your money goes back to support the park. Or you can sign up for a day hike or a multi-day hike with the Grand Canyon Conservancy Field Institute. Okay, I am so excited because we're about to take you on a sneak peek of a day hike in the canyon. Am I ready? Heck yeah, have fun! All right, we'll see you when we get back. Hey everybody, this is Laura Butelman, Senior Program Coordinator of the Grand Canyon Conservancy Field Institute. And we are so happy to be with you today, Laura. I'm so happy to have you and it's a beautiful day to take a hike. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the world famous South Kaibab Trail. The trail goes all the way down into the canyon to the Colorado River and has spectacular views the entire way down. Wow, Laura. I mean, literally you could just see for miles. It's amazing. Share with us what's unique about the Field Institute classes. Yeah, our classes and tours are in partnership with the National Park Service. Wow. So you're getting an in-depth educational experience while enjoying the sights and sounds of the park. So what kind of classes are offered? We have something for everyone. Whether you're looking for a day hike with your family, a once in a lifetime backpacking trip, or a class on outdoor photography, the Field Institute has you covered. And best of all, a portion of the proceeds directly contributes to the park's efforts to make the canyon accessible to all people. Oh my gosh, Mindy, that was so much fun. I mean, truly a trip of a lifetime. I am so glad you enjoyed it, Glenn, and thank you so much for visiting. Yes, and we invite everybody to take a guided Grand Canyon Conservancy Field Institute hike at one of the seven wonders of the world, Grand, Grand Canyon, Canyon National, National Park. park. Yeah. Woo! Wow, it is it is just just an extraordinary place, Glenn. I got I got chills a couple times there. I visited the Grand Canyon in person, and I think when you go, um, at least for me, I, I do have this idea that my gosh, we got to take care of this. This is something really extraordinary. Yes, and when you when you're standing there, especially you feel it. And the wonderful way to connect with the Grand Canyon Conservancy is just show up you know, uh, shop in one of their stores, all the proceeds go to the Conservancy, and then take those Field Institute hikes. Going with Laura, who was our guide, as you saw, was so wonderful because I felt so safe. There were so many tips and education that she gave us, but, you know, really makes you feel safe. And hiking into the Grand Canyon was on my bucket list, but this is the way to do it, truly. Absolutely, and I'm glad you mentioned safe to be safety because when you go there, safety really is super, super important. Um, we know that. Uh, you know, compared to all the places you visited, I think th this it just seems like 
a very, very special place that whether you have people visiting Las Vegas and you want to take them somewhere impressive or whether you're just, you know, packing up the family and going, it's somewhere you can go back to and go to a different spot every time. Yes, and summertime, what a great time to visit. The South Rim is average 80 to 83 degrees, and the North Rim is 73 to 75 degrees average. So mm. again, a wonderful place to escape the summertime. Absolutely, yes, and we are always looking for those places to escape. In fact, when I think of Las Vegas summers, I think of escape is the word that comes to mind. So thank you, Len, for that. <laughs> To learn more, go to grandcanyon.org.